All right, what's up guys? My name is Zach and today I'm back again with another episode of Mazda Memorabilia. Today I have the Rotoman action figure. Now this I actually purchased quite a while ago from a website called Overkill Creations. And as of right now, if you actually search that up, um, this guy is sold out. But let's actually take a look at it. So as you can see, it is a rotary action figure. I never really thought I'd find one of these. Uh, but I got it a long time ago, way before I ever got an RX-7, but I was really interested uh, in rotaries. So, let's take a look at the packaging. As you can see, in the front, you get a nice package with Rotoman in it, uh, and then you get some nice cover art. Around the back, uh, I'll read this to you, but it just has some logos, and it says, Rotary Art Clothing Accessories Mascot Roto is now a figure designed and sculpted for use by well-known toy sculptor Mad Joe, and in collaboration with Overkill Creations have made this awesome some Roto RE 13B as part of the, as a part of their new man action figure line with five points of articulation this is a resin figure that might just be a groundbreaking first so let's take a look at it the way you open up the packaging it's actually resealable packaging is it just pops out like this you can reclose it reseal it uh, and do all that stuff so let's actually take a look at the figure so this is Roto Man. As you can see, he has, like I, like they said, five points of articulation, a little hands or arms, legs, and then head, which actually does come off. Now they sold them in black and white, uh, but I went for the black jumpsuit. And actually, his hands or his fists are glow in the dark, which is really cool. He is a little bit flimsy and that's okay. I mean, it was made by an independent guy. It wasn't made by, you know, Mattel or something like that. And it's it's just a really cool showing piece. If you guys have ever watched my Rotary Life series, um, every once in a while you'll see Roto Man Says, which are little tips and tricks uh, for the viewers. But this is the figure that, you know, that's not only based off of it, I took a picture of this guy and then I, I used that. So again, a really cool collectible. Um, I like it in the case. Uh, he stands up pretty well in the case and it's something cool to put on your shelf, um, which is what I do and I think it's, it's really cool. So let's talk about price. Well, I bought him originally in 2014 for $15, but again, like I said on the website, it's sold out. So I'm not sure where you can get another one of these. I haven't been able to find any more of these for sale on Amazon or eBay. Just a really rare collectible. Which moves us on to rarity. I'd probably put at a four and a half. Uh, I have never seen these ever for sale ever again. I, I must have hit it just at the right time because I saw that it was for sale. I bought one for $15 and I haven't seen them since. So if anyone knows where you can get these, please leave them down in the comment section down below. Um, you can still see the website, but it still just says sold out. So I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to rate the video, comment on the video, subscribe if you really liked it. Take care guys.